Hello and welcome to the video notes for Chapter 7, Lesson 4, Applying Properties of Similar Triangles. Today's objectives will be to use properties of similar triangles to find segment lengths, and we will apply proportionality and triangle angle bisector theorems in this lesson. First, let's take a look at the triangle proportionality theorem. If a line parallel to a side of a triangle intersects the other two sides, then it divides those sides proportionally. So once again, we have line EF that is parallel to one side of a triangle, intersecting the other two sides, and it creates the proportion AE over EB equals AF over FC. This is not the only proportion we could have. We could say something also like this, that AE over AF equals EB over FC. If you remember our discussion about proportions though, all we've really done between these two different proportions is exchanged the means. AF and EB change places. The cross products would still be the same. So let's take a look at example one. We are to find the length of US. We have triangle R ST and side RS and RT are intersected by segment UV and it's parallel to ST. Since that is given to us, we can come up with this proportion. We could say US over RU is the same as VT over RV, so we're going to substitute 14 for RU, 4 for VT, and 10 for RV, and get this proportion. Why don't you take a few moments, solve this proportion, and tell me what you get for US. Pause the video if you need extra time. When you are ready, click play. And now we should be able to check our answer. Your answer should look something like this. US equals 5.6. We get that answer by solving the proportion using the cross products property. 10 times US would equal 14 times 4. 14 times 4 is 56. So US times 10 equals 56, and then divide both sides by 10, 56 divided by 10 is 5.6. All right, the next theorem in our notes is the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. It states, if a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then it is a parallel line to the third side. So what we have is that the line EF crosses these two sides of the triangle such that AE over EB equals AF over FC, so we can conclude the lines are parallel. So in example two, we will be verifying something very similar. We want to verify that DE is parallel to BC using the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. Here's the proportions we could set up. I can compare AD to DB, 10 to 15, and realize that's 2 thirds. I could compare AE to EC, 8 to 12, and that is also 2 thirds. Since both parts of side AB and both parts of side AC are proportional, DE is parallel to BC by the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. Next, we also have the two transversal proportionality corollary, 7, 4, 3. In this corollary, we're given three or more parallel lines, three or more, we could have many here, intersected by two transversals, these two lines that are not parallel. This divides the transversals proportionally. I could say AC over CE equals BD over DF. We could come up with several different proportions from this given situation. I could compare AC to BD, that would be the same as CE to DF. I could compare AC to all of AE, that would be the same as BD to all of BF, and there's many more proportions we could come up with. Now before we get onto the example using that previous theorem, we have one more theorem to talk about in the note packet. That is the triangle angle bisector theorem. In this theorem we are given an angle bisector of a triangle, AD, and told that it divides these opposite, this opposite side into two segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides of the triangle. So in this case, BD to DC is going to be the same ratio as AB to AC. We could also say BD to AB is the same as DC to AC. So let's go back and take a look at a situation where we have 
lines that represent these trees. Some artist is making a larger sketch of these trees, so he's got these vertical lines, all vertical lines would be assumed to be parallel, and these perspective lines are our transversals. So in this figure, AB is 4.5, inches, BC is 2.6 inches, CD is 4.1 inches, and KL is 4.9 inches. We can use proportions to find LM and MN. First let's find, we can set up the following proportion based on this given information. We can set up a proportion that states that AB over KL would have to be the same ratio as BC over LM. Now we just fill in what we know. AB is 4.5, KL is 4.9. That would equal BC, which is 2.6, over LM, which is my unknown. And this is a proportion that we solved using the cross products property. Once again, why don't you take a few minutes, solve this for LM, and see what we get for an answer. Alright, if you need any more time, continue to work uh, while you pause the video. Otherwise, let's check our answer. When you solve the proportion, LM should be about 2.8 inches. Alright, the other part of example 3 is to find MN. To find MN, we're going to use this proportion, KL over MN equals AB over CD. And so, we set this proportion up a little bit differently. We're comparing AB to CD, but again, we're going to compare KL to MN, and so the means are just switched out from where they were in the previous example. So, the first thing we should do is fill in what we know. We can take, instead of KL, we can write 4.9 instead of MN, I'm sorry, we still write MN because we don't know that, instead of AB we write 4.5 and instead of CD we write 4.1. Once again we solve this proportion by taking the cross products and setting them equal to each other. 4.5 MN equals 4.9 times 4.1. 4.9 times 4.1 gives us 20.09. So we need to now take this equation and divide by 4.5. In doing so, we get that MN would have the length of approximately 4.5 inches. Alright, our final example, we'll be using the triangle angle bisector theorem to find the lengths PS and SR. When we have the angle bisector in a triangle, it separates the opposite side into two lengths that are proportional to the other sides of the triangle. So we would know, in this case, that PS to SR is the same ratio as QP to QR. And that will give us the following proportion when we fill in what we know. PS we can replace with X minus 2. SR we replace with X plus 5. And that would have to equal PQ, or QP, which is 32, over QR, which is 40. Once again, all we have to do is cross multiply, take our cross products, but remember when doing so here, we're going to take 40 times all of X minus 2. That means we will distribute it to this quantity. And the same with 32 and X plus 5. So 40 times X is 40X. 40 times minus 2 is minus 80. That should equal 32x plus 5 times 32, which is 160.
All right, so we have this equation, 40x minus 80 equals 32x plus 160. Now all we have to do is solve for x. I'll quickly guide you through how we would do that. We're going to subtract 32x from both sides and add 80 to both sides. That gives us 8x equals 240. Now all we do is divide both sides by 8 and x equals 30. But remember, we're supposed to find the two portions of that third side. So we're going to substitute 30 for x in both of those expressions. Px, ps was x minus 2, so 30 minus 2 is 28. And sr is x plus 5, so 30 plus 5 is 35. If you wanted to check these, we could check the ratio of these two and the ratio of the other two sides, and they would be give you the same ratio when you simplified. All right, so when we apply properties of similar triangles, we will be using proportions quite a bit. Remember, to solve a proportion, you simply set the cross products equal to each other.